What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to our training guides that we do every week for all the new players or re-released players if you haven't checked out previous videos. Make sure and go back and check out some of them to get you into the flow of how we do these. So we are basically going to do a complete breakdown on Ronaldinho. This guy is a machine. You can train him up in multiple ways. We're going to show you two different versions of Ronaldinho. And then we are going to show you a free-to-play version of Ronaldinho, an alternative to spinning for Ronaldinho. If you are staying play, playing free-to-play and you don't want to spin, right? I definitely think you can get by if you are a good player, lads. I mean, if you check out my other series, Road to Glory, um, I am playing 100% free. I haven't spent one cent on that Road to Glory team. I mean, I've got Yang Collar up front as my main striker. So that should tell you all you need to know. And I'm into Division 2, um, you know, and I'm just an average player, as I always say. So uh, it is going to be a difficult one to get somebody that is as good as Ronaldinho because, you know, some of these epics are just insane. I mean, if you look at him straight off the rip, you know, this card is as good as a lot of cards that you've trained up, probably. You know, with the 85 acceleration, tight possession and ball control. And then he's also got really nice dribbling and balance and passing is very decent as well as finishing is very decent. So he's probably one of the most complete attacking midfielders in the game slash wingers because you've got that high acceleration now so we will show you two different versions of him first up we are going to show you um a version of him that kind of is just going to be sitting in that attacking midfield role right so we are going over to eFootball db and this is the version of ronaldinho that we're going to look at here right so the key with this card lads at the moment that we see is that we are going to have it as balanced as possible. We don't have any stat that is like insanely high like we do have with the other version of him. Now, we do, we do still have 93 acceleration, but I will show you the key to this card, right, is his form and his um, play, play style, okay? So as a creative playmaker, I think you are kind of wasting your time playing uh, Ronaldinho out on the left wing unless he's got 95 plus acceleration. I'll show you a different build for him in a second. If you want to just play like a wing wizard Ronaldinho, you need to be good at skills. You need to be good at beating players. You need to be good at positioning and actually, you know, reading how defenders are going to defend you because the defending is so automated now, even an average to bad player of the game or a bad defender. And I don't like saying that, but somebody that just doesn't, does not understand the mechanics of the defending can literally hold the auto defend and the game will do a lot for him. So you need to be able to read animations and stuff like that, which comes with playing the game for a while. We'll get into that in a second. But this version of Ronaldinho, you will see, right, a pattern of 88, 88, 88, 88, 88. This is because when you get the player form arrow, these are going to shoot up to 90, okay? So you're going to have, with this build of the card, you are going to have plus 90 in ball control, dribbling, tight possession, low pass, lofted pass, uh, free kicks, and balance and acceleration, okay? You're going to have speed and stamina over 80, and you're going to have curl near enough 88, 89, and finish in about 82, so 83. So it depends on the form arrow. Obviously, if you get the max form arrow, you're going to get the max stat boost in game. So this card is all about, as I said, is just about getting that 88 mark there, right? Now, we can also, on top of that, if we want to, we can just pop one more in there. Um, that will bring the card up to a 96 overall. And this is going to be our overall uh, version of him for AMF, which he goes to a 96, even though he is down as a left winger, okay? So for this card, I mean, I would definitely be looking at somebody that is a creative playmaker that has got really good dribbling, really good um, all-round kind of dribbling stats. And if you are looking for somebody that's also quite fast as well. So it is going to be hard to get somebody that hits all these targets. But we do have someone here. So our alternative to Ronaldinho is actually going to be Neymar Jr. Now there's been multiple versions of Neymar. If you've had any previous versions of Neymar, Ronaldinho actually, uh, the standard version of him stacks up very well to Ronaldinho. Now he's down as an SS here. Um, but obviously you're going to have to have a look at his team play style as well there is a couple of stuff um, that you need to do so if you don't play possession game or out wide you are going to have to train up some of his team play style which will take a few marks from your actual training his stats right but yeah I mean he's a fairly decent player he's also got double touch and you've got the dribbling you've got the passing you've got the acceleration and the balance obviously he's not going to be as good as Ronaldinho in that pocket um but I do think that you know it is a very kind of similar card if you are looking to stay free to play now he does cost 500,000 so that is another trade-off that you need to think of before you actually go after Neymar I think because of Ronaldinho's position and down as a left winger and the fact that he's a creative playmaker 
I do think that he's going to be slightly harder to use as a winger, uh, you know, than you would get with a prolific winger. Like, if you're used to just, you know, look, if you're good at the game on the wings, if you're able to, like, switch it up, cross the ball in, if you're able to one-touch, if you're able to produce overlaps, if you've got a formation set up for either a 4-3-3 or an out-wide 4-4-2 with left and right midfielders, or you've got a 3-5-2 with lots of space coming from your left or right flanks, then I do think that Ronaldinho is probably going to have to be maxed out with his acceleration, right? Because he doesn't have that prolific winger play style. So his runs are going to be slightly different than what you're probably used to if, you've, if you're playing a 4 3 3 or something like that, right? Now, he's still a monster, don't get me wrong. But this 98 overall version of him is probably the ultimate, right? Now, we can tweak this slightly depending on your play style, which we'll do in real time. But I do think that this is a monster card, right? We've massively, massively overcompensated here with the acceleration and put it up to 98. We are taking everything out of the of the question here because we don't want to def depend on the form arrows. We can actually tweak that a little bit. I'll probably tweak that a little bit in a second. But what we're going to be doing here with this Ronaldinho card is basically maxing out his, his acceleration and turning him into a sheer winger that's able to just rip it up the wings as I said with the auto defending, you're not going to see the full benefit of the acceleration players um, unless you get like yards and yards of space, which is possible with certain formations and against different players. Um, but you are used, you know, usually if you are looking to play Division One, Division Two, or go up the ranks, you are better just keep the ball at your feet with little one touch passes. So Ronaldinho, I think this version of him is going to be a required, um, or you know, it's going to be it's going to be patient patience is going to be required with him and it's going to be a different build than you were probably used to playing right so i will just go through his card here a little bit we've got with this card even though we've got 98 acceleration with 93 balance they're all obviously going to get a boost you're going to have 99 overall acceleration which is too much in my opinion because you won't get the full benefit of it but you've got 93 balance which will go up to 95 and the offensive awareness is going to be over 85 so i do like that i would probably tweak that just one I'd bring that back down, the acceleration to 97. The balance is still going to be about 94, 95. The offensive awareness is going to be over 85. So I'm happy with that. Also with this card, uh, the dribbling and the tight possession and the ball control is probably slightly overkill there. Um, so if you want to change that up a little bit as well, you could reduce that just one um, if you wanted to, to save yourself two points. And the reason for that is because we do have 80 speed and 80 stamina, which is enough, right? Um, in my opinion, if you're playing him, you know, pretty much out wide, um, you're not going to be doing massive runs on him. And if you do find the stamina is an issue, you can always just do counter target on him, right? Um, but I would definitely think that if you want to pop in two into lower body, you could do that if you wanted to. But I think here is where you need to decide what type of winger that you want to have. Do you want a, just a pure speed winger? Then I would pop it into lower body, okay? And then I'd pop the other one into dribbling. If you want pure speed, you're not worried about... Um, you're not worried about finishing. You're not worried about passing. You still have fairly okay stats in that. But if you are looking for something different, then you would decide, right, okay, I'm not going to be passing that much. I'm going to be shooting with Ronaldinho a good bit. You can actually get that up to 83 finishing, which will go to 85 with the boost. Similarly, if you're not worried about shooting, you can leave that at 75 and you can max out the passing, uh, which will go to an 83 and an 86 for lofted. So those are the two options, I would say. You're still going to get a 98 rated version of him on the flank. Um, he can only play on the left flank. So if you are looking for a little bit more leeway and if you're looking to play with somebody that is just an outright winger and you're looking to get somebody like that, I would recommend Diaz if you're staying free to play. I had Diaz, lads, um, way back when. He's an absolute monster. The only thing that lets him down is his form, but he does have unwavering form there. So you can see here that we've got very similar stats. You've got the dribbling over 92. The ball control type possession are going to get the boost when his form arrow is up to bring it over to 90 mark. His balance is a little bit lower than Ronaldinho's, but his acceleration is the same at 97, which is huge. Speed and stamina are similar, but you've got no passing or finishing. So you'll find with a lot of the wingers is you'll either have blister and pace, right? Like Dembele or Diaz or Sané or Mane. Um, or else you'll have kind of like not as fast paced, but you'll have somebody that's a really good finisher or a really good passer. So I think it's a requirement, you know, of yourself of how you like to play. If you like to play with fast, 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 uh, pacey wingers that are very mobile, 
then you know you don't need to worry too much about passing and finishing especially when a player has got a couple of passing um player skills or as you can throw a couple of player skills onto him but yeah ronaldinho lads stick double touch on him if you have him he's an absolute machine that is the training guide for ronaldinho it's a fairly thorough one but i think he's one of the biggest players that they have released and most importantly he is an absolute monster if you train him right so yeah don't make that mistake because you can't reset the pro progression yet so that is it for me lads i'll be back soon hope you enjoyed the video peace